the Oscars and these little old blue rinse ladies were coming up and grabbing by the cheek going, hey, he's little Oliver. I thought, no. Yeah. <laughs> Get go away. You know, I, just, I don't need this. Jack moved to America where he starred in his own television series and became a pop star. I did have people camping outside my house, same as they do with Take That or the Spice Girls or Beckham and Victoria. Now, it was very much on, on that same level. On paper, I was a millionaire because I got a couple of million dollar contracts. And so I could walk down the street and if I saw a Rolls Royce that I wanted to buy, I should buy it. Sadly, after he hit America, he also began to hit the bottle. And over the next 10 years, Jack fought a desperate battle with alcoholism. I weren't being offered as many films or TV work or theatre work. And so my automatic answer to that was, was to have a drink that would send me to sleep. And I can honestly say from the late 70s onwards, I really wasn't in a fit state to um, do any work. As he got older, Mark Lester also struggled to cope with his fame and fortune. I went a bit wild. First thing I did was I went out and bought a Ferrari. <laughs> 